Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, apologies for the big gap in videos. Uh, I've been extremely busy, thankfully, and I haven't really uh, had the chance to put stuff together here on, for the channel. Um, but in saying that, if, um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It helps um, all the videos get found and the algorithm uh, for YouTube uh, to make sure people can solve all their issues and connect with my channel. Um, I really appreciate that. Uh, let's dive in here. Uh, this is a common problem where people want to save uh, their project files or share their their uh, project or uh, the package the package files with um, collaborators and other artists, that kind of thing, or producers like myself. And they've done all this work. They've got all the files and they're using Logic, and it's so handy um, just to be able to to flick pack, uh, files back and back and forth with people. Um, but more often than not, some, what happens is the, um, they're missing the assets and some of the loops and maybe they're getting loops from different parts of their hard drive and when I open it up, uh, it's missing some parts. So let's just make sure that that doesn't happen and I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's dive in. Um, I've got a track here. It's got, um, it's got some sampled sort of kick drums and snares, that kind of thing. It's got some loops. Um, now, also, uh, I did have like a bass line here, and this is um, generated by a plugin called Spire. Um, really love it, and but unfortunately, not everyone has that. So, if I were to, to you know share this project with someone, they would be missing the bass line. So, I've printed it out, bounced it out. Here it is. It's an exact replica of uh, of that what was on that channel on that track, and now I'm just going to export it. So. As you can see at the moment, um, if I do click here in the assets, you can see uh, where these files are currently. They're currently on um, my 1110 hard drive. And let's go and export this. So I would uh, usually just save as, um, and then I'll typically, uh, you know, go as a folder because I like to sort of um, get the audio files and have it all sort of there. Uh, if I need to sort of go in, I can. Um, but in this instance, let's just do it as a package and go Command D, save it to your desktop. Um, I don't know why I came up with that. And let's just go Bentley, export, and package, tick audio files, tick EXS or sampler or whatever uh, the current logic one is. Alchemy, if there's any Alchemy, do that as well. Um, hit save. That's going to basically save that to our desktop and if we now basically go here in the project files and if we look at these you can see that all those files now just up here um, they're on our desktop so those those files are inside this project file with well, sorry this package now I'm not going to hit save because I've already saved it and if I go here now, let's have a quick look. Desktop, there it is, it's 110 megabytes. Click on it. May take a little while because I've got a fair bit in that template of mine. And there it is. Okay, guys. Well, I hope that's been helpful. Um, like I said, subscribe to the channel and um, have fun making music. Cheers.